Dijon Otaka Foundation held her last training session at the M7 football pitch, which is a level playing ground to acquire more training and also select the eight best players who will be representing the team at the final of the Starhook World Cup competition expected to hold in Morocco for the year 2020. Osman Abubakar Chata, the vice president of the foundation, has been speaking to our reporters on the essence of the foundation and their commitment to maintaining back the trophy which they won during the last year's tournament. Uh, that's why we invite the last edition champion, uh, the old boys we use in uh, Bulgaria to contest against the ones we have presently to see how we can bring the best eight because we narrow the number to uh, 10. So to deal at the end of the friend game between the last edition champion and this present class will remove the eight players that will represent the country. Uh, well, our objective is to see these uh, young boys happy. I think that is the main thing to uh, remove them from the, the streets, engage them in something that maybe is, uh, maybe I would say they are what they choose to be their career. That's just our job. Some of the eight players who have been successfully selected to represent Nigeria at the Morocco Starhook World Cup competition also speak on their preparedness to win back the trophy from the tournament. I pray to Almighty Allah that we are going there to defend the trophy. And by the principal grace of God, we will bring the trophy back to Nigeria. Inshallah. I'm going to support the team to defend this trophy again, to bring it back to Nigeria. We are going to defend our cup that we want to win last year. I'm here to defend the champion in Morocco by winning the trophy back to Nigeria and I'm sure that by God's grace we'll get there and win the trophy back to Nigeria. And uh, I'm very happy to be selected uh, to be among the team that will go to the 2020 Morocco Sato World Cup. And I think we're going to defend our cup. I just think if we work together as a team and believe in ourselves and believe in our coaches, by God's grace we will we'll defend the cup. The tournament is said to have the participation of 16 nations across the globe and the vice president has been shedding more light on the objectives of the foundation and more. Well, uh, the foundation office is in MENA, Niger State. Uh, it's not because it's in MENA, and it's meant for uh, youth from MENA. No, we have boys from Kogi, Abuja, as I said from the beginning, Kaduna, Ogun, and I think one other state from the south as well. We have somebody from Inugu. Well, uh, the dream of the founder, uh, Sheikh Altani, is to see if she can pick uh, the best talents to groom them into becoming uh, professional footballers. I am Sani Mohamed Lawal, reporting for NSTV News.